It's my feel good breakfast show. Now, a major breakthrough in the United States recently saw an amputee make history with the world's first prosthetic limbs that he could control with just his thoughts. Prepare to be amazed. Leslie Barr lost both his arms in an electrical accident over 40 years ago. But at the Johns Hopkins University Applied Physics Laboratory in the USA, he became the world's first amputee to have prosthetic limbs attached to his body that he could control with just his mind. Once the training sessions were complete and they released me and let me be the computer, basically, to control that arm, I just go into a whole different world. I think we're just getting started at this point. It's like the early days of the internet. There's just a tremendous amount of potential ahead of us and, and we just started down this road. And I think the next five, 10 years are gonna bring some really phenomenal advancements. With complete intuitive thought-based control, Leslie was able to move the robotic limbs, hands and fingers with just the thoughts in his head. He has access to all of the different degrees of motion, shoulder, elbow, wrist, hand, but he still needs to select which one he wants to use. So he needs to position the shoulder, then the elbow, then the wrist, then the hand separately and rest in between. Maybe I'll be able to, for once, be able to put change in a pop machine and get the pop out of it. Simple things like that that most people never think of. And, it, and it's re-available to me. Okay, both We'd really like to be able to do is send him home with a couple of limbs so that you know he can use them in his everyday life. And what this has showed us is that that's really possible. All of us on this RP2009 team, regardless of the type of patient we're fitting, are committed to making every effort to see that this ultimately reaches the end user in a way that they can actually utilize it. That's awesome. <laughs> It's not just the accomplishment, but the opening of frontiers and realizing that there's so much more to learn. Providing a whole new world of freedom, the team hoped to take the technology to new heights, giving other amputees the ability to move around using just their brain power, taking the concept of the bionic man or woman to a new level of awesome.